So moving on, uh, question number four comes in from uh, Brian. Hi there, Brian. Thank you for being part of the amazing Wigiwam community. Uh, Brian's question is, uh, we've just put an offer in on a property we desperately want. Uh, we're effectively first-time buyers as we sold our old home and moved into rented for the foreseeable. Uh, we did this firstly to go on a road trip without any strings, and secondly, to make sure we could move fast on our return should a property come up that met our requirements. I'm um, reading all kinds of things on the internet about things going wrong, and it seems loads of sales fall through. We don't want this to happen. Uh, what can we do to ensure the sale goes through and also to protect ourselves if this happened? Okay, well, great question, Brian. Thank you for that. Uh, good that you put yourself in this position, Brian, because um, one of the things I, I'm uh, seeing at the moment is that uh, if you've got a long chain, and a chain is basically uh, the number of people that want to buy and sell a property simultaneously, um, the longer that chain, the higher the likelihood is of a deal falling apart. And it might not necessarily be your deal, but it might be somebody further up the chain where things fall apart and then people can't move for whatever reason. Um, very different to the Australian um uh, home buying and selling process where people very rarely get caught up in chains because they sell go into rented then wait for the right property to come up and then then buy which is effectively what you've done so you put yourself in a good position brian you're effectively a cash buyer or a cash with a mortgage uh, buyer which means most estate agents will class you as a, a hot buyer uh, if you don't know what that means uh, read home buyer secrets it'll tell you more about that um, but there's basically less complications with you as a potential buyer uh, you've already got the property that you uh, say that you desperately want so now you just need to put a framework in place to make sure that this deal stays together and you you know get the property that you've set your heart on so a couple of things i'm going to suggest you do um it doesn't look as though the offer has been accepted yet, which is perfect because you can now get uh, what we call a protect your pocket policy. Okay, a protect your pocket policy in place, Brian. And what that will do is, God forbid, this deal falls apart and you're six, eight weeks into the process or 12 weeks into the process. Uh, and you spent out money on solicitors and surveys and goodness knows what else in the, in the pursuit of this property, then the protect your pocket policy will pay out um, up to £2,000 of your expenditure uh, in connection with this purchase if the whole thing falls apart. Okay, now that is not an expensive policy. It's a complete no brainer. Okay, and it is well worth getting in place because at least one in three deals are falling through at the moment. And you know, you might be lucky, you might be one of the two out of three that goes through with no complications or no problems. But why would you want to take that risk? Because, and here's the big problem, Brian, and we've had this with, with other people in the past where, you know, they've gone through the purchase process once and they've lost the property. They've then gone through it again, and then they've lost that property. And for whatever reason, these things happen. Uh, it's beyond my intelligence to work out why these things happen. Sometimes it's God. Sometimes it's an issue with the property. I'm not quite sure. But the point is, if you've if you've lost fifteen hundred pounds, two thousand pounds on the first purchase because that didn't happen, and then you've gone to another property and you lost another two grand, you can start to see how this gets very expensive to move house, right? So pay away the pain. Get get your protect your pocket policy in place, and that will cover you. God forbid, should anything go wrong with, with the property purchase, it will also give you massive peace of mind uh, in terms of if anything goes wrong, you know you're covered, okay? So that's a, that's a huge thing. Second thing I would encourage you to do is to uh, jump on board with their conveyancing concierge service. Again, looks like you haven't got to the point of instructing solicitors yet, so I'm going to encourage you to get on board with the conveyancing concierge service. That will be a fast-track um process to get you to exchange of contracts within six weeks okay it's purely designed to get you through to exchange of contracts within six weeks and you're going to pay a little bit more of a premium but it sounds like it's worth it for you to make sure that you get the property that you want okay so i'm going to get you to encourage you to think about that um the other thing you might want to think about brian i'm going to throw it out there as a bit of a curveball because you probably weren't expecting this as, as part of the answer but if you want things to happen on this particular property and it is the one that you set your heart on and you just really really want it you might want to consider as part of the deal and as part of your offer should i say that you uh pay the seller's legal fees 
as long as they go with a solicitor of your choice. And the reason I mention this, Brian, is because the, the biggest common complaint at the moment is the length of time it takes for a, a deal to go through the legal channel. Now, I'm not blaming lawyers when I, when I put this to you, okay? I'm just telling you what a number of people are saying, both buyers and sellers and estate agents and others in the property industry right now. And if you've got a solicitor that wants to get you to exchange of contracts within six weeks, okay, wouldn't it make sense to also have a solicitor on the other side who also has the same goal and not one who is uh, potentially a stack them high, sell them cheap um, factory conveyancing service who you're going to be one of 200 clients that a solicitor is dealing with and you know they don't care whether you move next week, next month, next year. Probably sounds a bit harsh saying it like that, but that's the reality of the situation. So the common goal for you to spend a little bit more extra money, but you would put yourself in a position where you've got two solicitors who are acting um, under essentially your instructions, but the one party is really acting for the seller, but you're agreeing to underwrite their legal fees if they will get this deal complete within six weeks, then that to me seems like a complete no-brainer again. Uh, it allows you to fast, fast track the deal through to completion and get you moved with much greater confidence than I would have in any other way of buying or selling a property at the moment. I'm, I'm just being frank with you, okay? Uh, that's exactly what I would do if I was in your position. The, the final tip I'm going to give you, Brian, and this is a bit wacky, this is a little bit out there, um, and I did write a, a book about this uh, quite a few years ago now. It's called Love is the New Religion. It's very, very different to the other books that I've written in the past about uh, property and all the rest of it. But it's called Love is the New Religion. And I'm going to encourage you to, to have a little read of that. Uh, it is, it's more of a spiritual book, I'll be honest with you. And the, the reason I'm, I'm suggesting this, Brian, is because sometimes what I've noticed with human behavior is that when we really want something to happen and we really, really want it, you know, and we get really worked up about it and we place so much importance on something happening the way that we want it to in our mind, obstacles tend to appear out of nowhere and stop us from getting it. Okay, so if there's high anxiety, high stress, high desire, high importance... In my experience, a lot of things happen where, you know, obstacles, as I say, appear out of nowhere and challenges come out of nowhere and kind of stop you from getting the result that you want. And the idea being is if you lower the importance and you're just like, you know what, if this is the best house for me, then it will happen without an issue. And if it's not the best house for me, then I might have to let it go, but something else will come along that will be better. And it's very easy to say this sitting here in front of the computer screen, Brian, I appreciate that. But you might want to try it on for size when you go through this journey because it is enormously stressful buying and selling a property. We know that. It's one of the top three stressful things in the in the world that people go through, right? But doing it this way, lowering the importance, lowering the stress, lowering the, the pressure that you're putting on, on this whole thing happening may be just what you need to ensure that it goes through. It's a bit of an esoteric way of, of looking at it, but you know, I've, I've tried it myself. And it seems to work. And I'll give you I'll give you a close to home example. Um, my good lady, she's a, a, G, a GP, and um, she uh, we were talking about this because we went for a walk with the dogs the other day, and, and she's just been um, nominated to become a fellow. Okay, uh, uh, and it was one of these things where she was like, it came out of the blue. Uh, somebody said, I think you'd be really good. Uh, I think we should put you forward for it. And she's like, mm, okay, maybe, maybe not. We'll see wasn't really all that kind of um, fussed about going for it, completed all the, all the paperwork, sent it in. And I kid you not, within about, I think it was like seven to 10 days, they came through and we said, congratulations, we're pleased to let you know that, um, you know, you, you, you've, uh, you've been successfully nominated and you're going to go forward. And uh, I was like, wow, that was really, really quick. And she scraped into the deadline within, I think it was like a few hours for the deadline for this this uh, certain set of applications that, that had gone in. And the point is, she was kind of okay if she got it and still okay if she didn't get it. Do you know what I mean? Uh, okay with both, with both outcomes, but there wasn't all this stress and anxiety of, oh, what if I don't get it, this, that, and the other. It just kind of happened, and it happened really, really quickly uh, because there was less uh importance and less kind of stress around that sort of scenario does that make sense so i hope that helps you brian uh, as i say it is a bit of a wacky way of looking at things but it's kind of one of the things that you know i've been in that position myself where you 
you put so much stress and intensity and pressure on trying to get things done. And then when you step back, you realize, actually, we're not in control of any of this. So what's meant to be is what's meant to be. Turn it over to a higher power. If it's meant to be, you'll get it. If you don't, uh, then the way I look at it, Brian, is that, you know, if I don't get something that I want, life is generally steering me away from something potentially bad that could happen. Okay, um, so we just have to kind of go with the flow. They call it going with the flow, don't they? So that 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 is my revised way of looking at life now, which I think is actually quite important. Okay, so good luck. Hope it all works out. Uh, but keep me posted. Anything else that we can do to help you, let me know, uh, and uh, I'll support you through that journey. All right, thanks, Brian. And I just want to say, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for all the amazing questions that we've had in this week. There's been some uh, quite challenging ones to deal with there, and, and I really enjoy this kind of process. I apologize if I've got on my soapbox a little bit this week, but I do get passionate about the issues I see in the industry, and I do get passionate about delivering uh, best value for buyers and sellers in the industry because ultimately you know they're our paymasters and they're the people that, that you know we really want to start looking after. So uh, thank you for joining me again on another amazing webinar. We're here every week doing this, and it's an absolute pleasure and delight to do so. Um, you can send your questions in to us uh, through any one of the following uh, methods. You can go to our, our website, which is wiggywam.co.uk. That's wiggywam.co.uk. You can set yourself a profile up there. You can explore our learning center and our broadcast section there. And you can send us uh, messages uh, directly to, um, well, myself, if you like, and send us in, in those questions or to my colleague uh, and co-founder, Chris. Um, you can send them in via email, which is happy to help at wiggywam.co.uk. That's happy to help at wiggywam.co.uk. You can send your questions in via that. Uh, you can also find us on Twitter. Our Twitter handle is at wiggywam underscore UK. So that's at wiggywam underscore UK. Uh, and feel free to uh, DM us your questions on Twitter. Uh, as I say, we're here every week. We're delighted to have you with us uh, this week, and uh, hopefully we'll see you on future webinars. Please do uh, consider liking, sharing, subscribing uh, to our channel, and also to share this video with your friends and family and your wider network. There are about a million people a year who need more help and support in uh, moving and have uh, millions of questions, I'm sure, that need answering. So it's our delight and pleasure to provide that information to them. We're building up a huge knowledge database now of all of these questions that we've done over the course of the last 21 weeks. So uh, hopefully somewhere in there, there's some pearls of wisdom uh, that you can share with your friends and family. And uh, we look forward to seeing you again on a future webinar very soon. Thanks for your attention, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for your time and uh, good luck. God bless and see you very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.